Welcome back to God's Amazing Animals. This is our second lesson where we get to uncover some more fascinating facts about another one of the animals God has created. Learning the facts about these animals will help us to go deeper into the Word of God and help us to understand who God wants us to be. Let's see if you can guess today's animal. Listen closely. Whoa, that sounded a little scary. Do you know what that is? Let's listen a little bit more just to be sure. I know what that is. That's the sound that a gorilla makes. We often think of gorillas as being big, angry, and dangerous, which explains why the sound we just heard was a little bit frightening. Here are some interesting facts about gorillas that may surprise you though. Gorillas eat over 130 different plants. Male gorillas can grow to be six feet tall, which would be about six rulers standing on top of each other. Male gorillas are twice the size of female gorillas, a newborn gorilla only weighs about four pounds, which is a lot smaller than most human newborns. Gorillas are shy and usually not aggressive, and there is a dominant gorilla called a silverback, and his job is to lead and protect his group. The sound that we heard earlier would make us believe that gorillas are constantly angry. However, they actually rarely fight with one another. When two gorillas do get angry at each other, they go through a series of nine actions that are meant to display strength. This is done so that way the other gorilla might back away and there wouldn't be any fight at all. Here's what the gorillas do. Step one, they make noises that show that they are aggravated, kind of like what we heard in the beginning. Step two is that they put leaves in their mouth, and this is an action that's commonly referred to as symbolic feeding. Step three is that they stand up on their hind legs like humans do to show off their size. Step four, they throw things that are around them, so it could be a rock, a stick, a plant, anything that they can get their hands on. Step five is that they beat their chest, and that's usually what we imagine gorillas doing all the time. Step six is that they kick with one leg. Step seven is that they run side to side. Step eight is that they slap and they tear up the different plants that are around them, so like the grass that they're sitting in. And step nine is that they slap the ground with their hands. So gorillas go through those nine steps so they can be slow to anger. Without those steps, gorillas would be fighting each other constantly. The Bible tells us that we should also be slow to anger. James 1.19 says this, My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. We can learn something from the gorillas. Just like they do, we can take some strong steps before we act out in anger. For example, if someone comes up to you and is mean to you or insults you, try taking a deep breath like this or counting to 10 slowly before you respond. Doing something like that will help you to not get angry as quickly as you usually would, and it will give you time to think of a response to their action that will be pleasing to God. Did you hear that? That sound means it's feeding time. Gorillas usually stick to a vegetarian diet, so that means they eat bamboo, plants, and some fruit. I do like to eat some fruit, but I don't think bamboo is going to make it into my diet anytime soon. I think I'll replace that with some french fries, maybe some chocolate. But that's not what my spirit needs to be nourished. Our spirits are fed by the Word of God, so let's see what it has for us today. Jesus tells us in Luke 6, 29, If someone slaps you on one cheek, offer the other cheek also. If someone demands your coat, offer your shirt also. So what is Jesus telling us here? He's saying that if someone is mean to you, instead of being mean back, you do the opposite. Honestly, if someone came up to me and said that they thought my haircut was ugly, or that my glasses looked funny, or they didn't think my shirt matched my pants, my gut instinct would probably be to make fun of them right back. But that's not what Jesus tells us to do. Jesus tells us to turn the other cheek, and that means to not lash out in anger at the person who is making fun of you. Jesus himself was a perfect example of this. When Jesus died on the cross, the Roman soldiers beat him and mocked him up until his very last breath. The amazing thing is that Jesus never yelled at them, insulted them, or lashed out in anger at them. Instead, he turned the other cheek and he became the bigger person, and ultimately, he became our best gift we have ever received. Being slow to anger and turning the other cheek is not easy for any of us. 
I'm the first to admit that I even struggle with it. When people make us angry and we want to get back at them, God will help us be strong enough to turn the other cheek and be slow to anger. All we have to do is ask for his help. Each lesson has a memory verse, and this week's it was James 1.19. My challenge to you is this. Put this verse somewhere where you can see it and read it every day. Maybe it's your bathroom mirror or your bedroom wall. Wherever it is, try to read it and try to memorize it to get it hidden in your heart. It is so important that we always have God's word with us no matter where we go. And memorizing scripture is a perfect way to ensure that. Before we leave today, I just want to take a moment to talk to God with you. So if you want to, close your eyes and bow your head and just go ahead and say this prayer with me. Dear God, I just want to thank you for today and thank you for everyone who is watching me across that screen. You are doing some amazing things, God, and I'm excited to see what else you do. God, I pray that you would just help us all to be slower to anger, to be able to turn the other cheek when we get made fun of or when we get sad. God, just help us to be more like you, be patient, be kind. God, that we can model Jesus' behavior. And God, I pray that you would help us to learn our memory verse and hide it away in our hearts so that we have your word with us at all times. We thank you and we love you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you everyone for joining me again today. If you come back tomorrow, we're going to make a gorilla out of a paper plate, some markers, some crayons. It's going to be a fun craft time. Next week, we're going to have another lesson here on Tuesday night about another one of God's amazing animals. You'll have to come back next week to find out what it is. I hope you all have a wonderful week, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye!